Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're about to get pinched. What's up guys, you're watching Mars On 2. My name is Oscar, welcome back to the channel. And today it's a very special day because not only are we in my favorite spot here in San Diego next to the USS Midway, but we have three amazing bikes today. Yes, all three of them amazing. And today specifically, we're gonna be reviewing this incredible Ducati 848 Evo, um, which belongs to my, one of my good friends, Chris. We also have Xavier's Ninja 400, who is pretty much like track master daddy over here with his amazing, amazing skills on the curves. So big shout out to him for, for joining today to be able to be a part of this video to both of these guys. But here guys, we have the Ducati 848 Evo. We got that nice, beautiful V-twin. So I'm, I'm really excited. I rode, I rode this bike probably around two or maybe three times before, nothing too crazy. But today we're going to see and test the true potential of what this bike has to offer. We also have this Tamagotchi exhaust. Yes, uh, that's the only thing I can think of whenever I see that exhaust. Um, I just think Tamagotchi, you know, I'm dating myself now, but I have no idea I even how to say that. Termi, 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 noni? I've never heard it. I know it's extremely popular, so please don't last shot at me but uh th there's little mods that chris has done to this bike including the red levers to match the subframe and the wheels of the bike it has a pearl paint that came standard i believe with the bike back in 2012 i think it was when it was released and it has this aftermarket exhaust he got an incredible deal on this bike and uh, now we have a visitor here a june bug uh he got an incredible deal on this bike so we're gonna be going ahead seeing what it's like to ride this on the streets we're going to take it onto the highway do some pulls between the three bikes or maybe just the bmw and the ducati and then the ninja will be the ref to see what happens but i think we all know how it's going to go so before we say anything else let's get on the bike let's see how it is all right guys before we actually get on the bike let's just get a sound uh how this bike sounds it's truly incredible compared to my vacuum cleaner that we're about to hear it's 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 crazy the difference and how good this exhaust sounds on this bike just 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 listen to this jesus can you rub it let's hear this god damn all right, let's kill that one. Now let's try this one out. <laughs> oh Lord. All right, All right. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But it could be a lot better. So there's a special exhaust coming to the channel for that bike, hopefully sooner than later. But uh, let's, let's, let's give it a go. All right, right off the back, besides the exhaust, I can immediately feel how how easy it is to wrap your legs around this bike. Like the tank, the way it's designed, like right between my legs, it's a perfect V, like with the tank. Like it's incredible how close it feels to, to uh, you could just almost feel like you can press your knees together, which is pretty crazy to me. So I can see the appeal for that tank shape. Uh, comparing it to the BMW, it is a little bit wider. It has more of an oval versus this pointy uh, triangle you can think of it as um, in your crotch area. But I really like it. It, it. it makes you feel like you can really hug and feel really secure on this bike, which is really important when riding one of these babies. And again, just for points of reference, I'm going to be using my BMW for the comparison between the two bikes. Obviously, I know it's not a fair comparison, um, but the main difference between the two being that this bike, ladies and gentlemen, is pure, pure power. And not only can you hear that power, but you'll feel it as soon as those revs go, this bike just wants to lunge forward and run. That's what I loved about it. It just the, the the clutch just bites immediately as soon as you start le letting off the trigger uh, the trigger the the lever in first gear 
it just feels really nice very responsive and that raw power also comes with very few to no uh, safety features on the bike unlike the BMW we have no from my knowledge at least on this particular bike you know dynamic traction control dampenings uh, um, what else all the ABS stuff you know this is all uh, bike and rider input you know whatever you give it's what the bike's gonna give so it's, it's less forgiving in my opinion but that's what makes this bike as fun as it is to ride will I use this bike as a daily I don't know we're gonna find that out we're gonna find that out but off the back right now I'll tell you probably not <laughs> the stance on this bike is very uh, very aggressive not too crazy like other uh, Hondas I've been on but uh, I can definitely feel that I am sitting on top of the bike versus my BMWs where you feel you're sitting inside the bike uh, I'm sure this clutch lever is what's making my hand feel really really tired but uh, the ergo on it is not is not the best I feel my hands wanting to cramp already but uh, you know what that's okay I just that comes I'm sure if I was to ride this bike every day that would be the last thing on my mind let's hear this exhaust She sounds so good, so good. But yeah guys, the V-Twin, the 848 EVO, it delivers a lot of nice flow and power in my opinion. It just launches you. And I love that, I love that about this bike. And just like any traditional sports bike, these mirrors in particular are really, really not good whatsoever. Whatsoever, I can barely see whatever is on my left and my right, and given the amount of vibration that goes onto the mirrors, makes it that much worse. But that's okay. What is that? Jesus. <laughs> More power to you. But yeah, guys, I, I'm feeling it. Like I feel it in my back. I know I have it so good with the BMW, but the, all these other bikes, all these other riding positions are just brutal in comparison. Uh, I'm sure you know that's something that you can easily get over the fact once you start riding a little bit more. And this throttle, by the way, on this bike is really touchy. Like you'll give it a tiny bit of gas and it'll lunge forward. There's no in between. There's no, oh, let me walk it forward a little bit, let it roll, and then we'll give it some gas. No, it just jumps the line. And that's the raw power that this beautiful bike is able to deliver, which is phenomenal. It puts a big old smile on your face every time you ride it. I'm sure it's on this particular bike, but uh, his brake lever is really high. And something I notice also is that the front brake doesn't really do much for me. Like, if I tap that rear brake, I feel the bike lunge a little bit, like telling it to stop or telling it to slow down compared to the front brake. Night and day difference for sure. Alright, here we go. Some highway riding. I don't know how the wind noise is going to be, so I might, I might not be talking too much. Which is fine, just listen to this baby roar. I 
have the biggest smile just riding this bike. The pops that come out, the raw power that I feel, it's incredible. Absolutely love it. Definitely one of the favorite, my favorite bikes that I've ridden so far. Only thing I do gotta say about this bike that I that I don't like is how front heavy this bike is. Like it you like just turning this bike, whether you're at a standstill, whether you're you know, I've, I've taken this to the canyons once already. <laughs> um, and she is heavy. Like, you really, like, the first couple times I rode it, it threw me off. Like, that threw me off, but, like, it confused me a little bit. It felt weird just how I had to uh, push the bike a little bit more than I've ever ever done with any other bike. So, uh, but that, again, that's just more so, more than anything, a mental thing. Once you get past that, you know, it, it becomes second nature. So not the biggest issue in the world. And of course you got that classic, classic Ducati heat between your legs. So let me just tell you, I'm I'm feeling very toasty right about now. Very toasty. In all the right areas. But gosh, this bike man, this this bike is this bike is fun. Hopefully the audio is coming off well enough so you guys can hear that exhaust. Hopefully, hopefully. But that Termione exhaust that's on here, it's it's incredible. I love it. So now the question is, will I daily this bike? Will I daily this A Parade Evo? And you know the, the answer comes to probably no surprise, I, I'd say no. You know, it's a great bike, it's extremely fun to ride, it's loud, that's not the problem. The problem is not that I'm in a very, very aggressive position. That's the least of it too. You know, those are things you can get over um, rather easily. What I personally don't like, and it's a deal breaker for me, is how hard it is to turn this bike. Uh, compared to quite a lot of other bikes that I've ridden myself, you know. It's, it's, it's just really heavy. And yes, you can get over it. Yes, you can learn how to adjust to that or mess with these stabilizers or, or whatnot. But it's just, why why do I want to, I just want to be able to sit on something and if I'm going to be dialing it, I want to be able to just ride around the city like it's the easy, like I'm on a feather, you know? It's that's feather light, easy to ride, and nothing too crazy. Are you really honking at me? That's my, that's the main thing I was talking about this bike, guys. I would say how heavy it is to just do this. How much effort you gotta put into making the bike rock back and forth. That's the only thing I would change about this bike. That and the fact that I'm sitting on a 200 degree oven right now. It wasn't too bad at all while riding, obviously, but now that I'm actually sitting on this thing and I'm on, at a standstill right here, she is hot. But that's all right, you know, it's part of the package. That's what you agree when you sign your name on that line to be able to walk out of, off the dealership floor with one of these bikes, you know? It's one of the things you just, those unspoken rules that you sign off on. But like doing, doing slow turns like that is kind of difficult. And that's one thing I don't want to worry about when I'm actually riding. That's my only complaint. Only complaint. Like even just stopping and doing this right here. Like it feels awkward to me. It feels like I'm, I'm gonna fall over or the bike just wants to fall over compared to my R3, which was obviously a different game. It's a different bike. But comparing it to the s 1000 R, even to the Aprilia 20660 that I had, this this feels, that's, that's the only thing I would change. Suspension is fine, levers are fine, throttle is fine, even though it's really jumpy. Another cool thing I like about this bike, by the way, is the way it like cups you in your seat. Uh, the way the back fairings are the, behind the seat, those fairings and the way the seat is cut, it like kind of like scoops your butt. <laughs> it like just cradles it in place when, you're, when you scoot all the way back, which feels really cool. It gives you that extra sense of like confidence, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. But yeah guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the video for this little review. I know I'm not going into depth, but I'm just I'm just talking about how it feels to ride 
on the streets, on the highway, on a daily basis. You can, anyone can look up the specs. What I want to know when I see these types of videos is what it feels like to ride. That's what I care about. That's what I want to know. So hopefully I gave you guys a little picture of what it really is like to sit on one of these monsters. Guys, thank you so much for staying in and tuning into the channel. I appreciate the amount of support I've received in such a small amount of time. We've gone from like 250 subscribers to around 327 at the moment this video was filmed. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate it and it's been a blast. I really hope to be able to put out more content for each and every single one of you guys. So go ahead, subscribe and like. Thank you so much. You're watching Mars On 2. My name is Oscar. Stay safe on that road and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care guys.